Yeah, get this on film. So what's happening? Well, these guys are going in. What happens is we've got so x amount of uh, um, of tents here, right? Yeah. They represent how many people we got in the camp. Yeah. These guys are coming in on the pretense. They're helping. They're going to change. They're going to put up tarps for us. They make us take down our camps open up uh, to the weather conditions, yep. and then turn around and take the camps away, and that eliminates another person out of this camp right. that we can't bring back in again. Right. So they're slowly diminishing our camp under our own eyes, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they start over there. They're working this way. They bypass that. They bypass the big tall one? Yeah. I don't know. Nobody seems to have an answer for that. To come over to start working this end. So that's kind of hard. You know, throwing people's personal possessions away. You know, Terry had his bike and his fucking trailer thrown away yesterday. Oh no, really? Yeah. Is he okay? I don't know, I'm not sure where he is right now. And uh, PHS is just kind of around here. Yeah. They won't listen to us. So, <coughs> hey, it's Kim Hothead here, and I'm just at Tent City, and uh, Doug and I were just having a conversation about the H and L uh, working working people who were here the other day, and how harsh it was that there was this weird divide and wedge between us. Because, and go ahead, what were you think? What were you saying? I was saying that if I was, in, you know, uh, working for a company that came in to help clean up, if they were going around doing it properly and asking the people, you know, to do so respectively, I think if I was one of those workers, I'd be proud to be uh, doing that. I wouldn't be ashamed to hide from behind, you know, away from a camera. I have no idea who okay. these people are. I don't know who to talk to. Do you guys to. know who you work with or who hired you? No. You don't know who hired you? You actually don't know who hired you? You don't know who you work for. I, I know the company I work for. So what's the company? The company? HL. HL. Yeah. Thank you. We've got a cleanup crew that is helping. They're not comfortable being on camera. They've asked the media not to do it. Their boss has said not to do it. If we don't meet this fire order by 5 o'clock, mm -hmm. then there could be a demolition destroy order. It's, uh, you know... Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You're helping out. That's what people respect out of other people. But if you're going to go around being shady but not even be able to tell who you work for, I'd be questioning that one real close. Yeah. I have a, uh, a commitment to the people, my friends that are around here, to stay and help the best way I can. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for speaking, Doug. And I mean, you basically are speaking. The fact that the media is not representing is that there's a lot of different families and different groups in here, and there's been a lot of misinformation, uh, uh, not really clear communication, that kind of stuff, and and here we are now. So you're right, everyone has different visions and everyone gets to have their different vision. And we do still hope for unity, but uh, thank you so much. And I just want to say thanks to the to the Thaw Victoria uh, viewers, and we're visitors here in Lagwangan territory, and I'm currently under duress in Lagwangan territory. <laughs>